How are you, Robert? I'm doing fine. Hola, como esta? Muy That's bien. All. <laughs> That's all your Spanish, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. We're, we're going to do this in English and add some subtitles or or wherever. Don't don't worry. Uh, well, Robert, first of all, thank you for being with us. I know you're a busy, busy person, and we were very eager to have this um, this conversation with you. And we know that all our community here in Latin America and Spain uh, it's eager as well to hear you. So my idea is to go into several topics. We're going to talk about financial education. We're going to talk about retirement, the state of the current global economy, the new rules of money, some concepts that you go through uh, every, every, every week in, in, in your publications, in our publications. Uh, what's going on with the middle class today, the cash flow, gold, cryptocurrencies, real estate, reinvestments. <laughs> There's a lot of things to cover. I want to start right now. Uh, what do you think? I think it's a big subject, <laughs> and uh, it's an important it's an important subject, very very important subject, especially today. Yeah, let's talk. Let's start uh, talking about uh, financial education. No, I mean the, the the struggle for a better financial education has has been like the most important thing you've been pushing for along decades. So, what what would the key concepts in in that area uh, be, and and how this would apply to to Latin America? Well, the, uh, the big thing here is, I mean, I, I use pictures, but pictures are better, okay? So this here, okay, so this here is a picture, okay? So this is poor dad, PhD, you know? The most important thing in my family, Japanese-American, was you have to have a college degree. So my poor dad went to Stanford, University of Chicago, Northwestern. So he had a PhD, he was very proud of it. And this is my rich dad. And my rich dad didn't go to school, but he had a financial statement. And today, 99% of all people graduating from school have this, but they don't have this. And that's causing massive worldwide problems. And so 25 years ago or so, you know, I, uh, I started the cash flow board game. Yep. Teach people this, this here is a, this is the financial, this is, I've been, I've been messing with it. This is the financial statement from the cash flow board game. So uh, what you see here is this is poor dad here. You know, he's, he says, oh, high paying job, high paying job. And this is rich dad here. You got to have assets. So the reason people are in serious financial trouble today is because I go to school like poor dad and they want the college degree. Where's that picture? They want this. It's not worth anything. Zero. You can't, you can't go to a store and say, here's, here's my college degree. So this here, the, so that this is the problem here is that, and this is not, it's everywhere, all across the world. They all want income. And really what the rich focus on are assets. It's so opposite. And that's the problem. It is a very, very big problem, Felipe. So I'm a rich man, you know, here, this is all I have. This is book number one. This is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Let me see. Yep. PhD, financial statement. This is book number two. So you go to school, get a job. That's what schools teach you. Employee. Or you become a specialist, like a doctor or a lawyer. So this was poor debt. This is rich debt. So that's book number two, Cash Flow Quadrant. So if a person's mind goes to school and is here, they're stupid all their lives financially. They could be very smart in school but they're stupid financially here. And over here is completely different. It's opposite. You see, <clears throat> E stands for employee. S stands for self-employed or specialist or smart person, like a doctor or a lawyer. Guess who pays the highest taxes? Employee, yeah. Lawyers. That's good. Doctors and lawyers pay the highest taxes. Very good. 
over here, zero taxes. Your country, my country, every country in the world. How a person can turn himself from one side to the other side of the quadrant? They have to study. But you're not going, they're not going to teach you that in school. So that's why, you know, that's why, I mean, one second. So that's why I wrote this book here, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That's this book, that's this picture here. Padre Rico, Padre Pobre. Yep. And then uh, created this board game here, Cash Flow. So you can learn about money. So 25 years ago, my wife and I created the cash flow board game. And then I wrote this book here, Padre Rico, Padre Pobre. So you can change your thinking. But if you think a paycheck is important, I can't help you. I don't want a paycheck. And so the reason my popularity grows is not because I'm very smart. You know, I flunked out of school. I flunked Spanish, I flunked French, I flunk English and I flunk Japanese. I flunk everything, but I understand the language of Donato. <laughs> well, that's one thing I wanted to ask you. What is dinero? What is money to you? What it means? It's, it's only a game. It's, it's only this. It's a game. Every, 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 every day, I mean, just the reason I was a little late coming on the phone call with you is I'm talking about this all day long, you see. But how many assets? So the phone call is with my partner, Kenny McElroy, and we're buying another $27 million property. Now, the average person cannot borrow $27 million. But because we go to the bank with this, a financial statement, the banks give us all the money we want. But if you don't have this, all they'll give you is a credit card. Uh, any, tip for, for, for any tip for a profit or retirement? January 2020. Who stole my pension? This is a global problem. I came up with this book in January of 2020. And this is not a mistake. And how, how, how do you think a person can be on the right, on the right side of, of what will be the, the next big transfer of wealth? Will be a transfer of wealth or just a concentration of it? Sorry, transfer. Look, I'm trying to tell you something. What you brought it up is the pensions. This is January 2020. They've already stolen the money. Wall Street, the central banks, the Federal Reserve Bank, U.S. Treasury, they've already stolen the money. There's no transfer. You're going to see millions of guys in America my age, no money. School teachers, firefighters, police officers. So what America's going to do is they're going to print money. And when they print money, then plata, e oro, e bitcoin go up. That's why I say plata, e oro, e bitcoin, because I don't trust my government. Let's talk a little bit about bitcoin. Tell me, tell me what your views on that uh, are. I don't save dollars. I don't trust the. I don't trust the netto or. I like plata, e oro, e bitcoin. I stay outside the banking system. I don't trust my government. If you trust. You know, you know, if, if you trust Christina or Lula or Biden or uh, Soros or Clinton or Obama, then you say, funny, I don't trust them. I don't trust them, but I trust plata e oro e bitcoin. <laughs> do, do you have... Be, you, do you have Bitcoin for your, uh, yourself now? I, I don't really count, but I, I have lots of plata e oro e Bitcoin. I don't say dollars. I use debt. You don't trust the government. You don't trust the U.S. dollar. You, you, you are in gold. You're in silver. And you're in Bitcoin. What do you think about other cryptocurrencies? Not much. 
not much. No, no I, look, I don't make any money, you know, like I, I, I've been saving silver, plata, since 1964. I've been selling, saving oro since 1972. And I started saving Bitcoin last year. Okay, but I don't need cash. This is the hard part. I don't care for cash because cash is a liability. They're always printing it. US, did you realize in, the, in this year, 2020, the US government has printed more money in two months than we printed in the last 200 years? That's how much uh, dinero or US Yankee dollar they printed. Let, let me get this right. You don't trade the gold, you don't trade silver, you don't trade Bitcoin, you just hold them. Okay. People cannot manipulate my gold or silver or Bitcoin. They can't touch it. I, I want to address uh, a bit our readers in Spain. Uh, how do you see the, the system in Europe now, which is pretty, pr way different from, from Latin America, no? Uh, how, how do you see uh, Europe now? How do you see Spain? What would you say to, to, to Spanish uh, people? I love Spain, you know. <laughs> uh, it doesn't make any difference. It's up here. It's in your head. And the most important thing, the reason I wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad and created the cash flow board game was so people could change this. It doesn't make a difference where you live. You look at this here. I mean, this, look at this thing here. You can now market to the world. You could live anywhere in the world. I can live in Zimbabwe and sell product to the world. I can live in Australia and sell product to the world if I'm an entrepreneur. You know, you, you, you look at the guy who created this thing, Steve Jobs. He never finished school. Look at Elon Musk, you know, he sends rockets in space and has PayPal and Tesla. You know, I, I, I invent stuff like this. This didn't exist 25 years ago. This didn't exist 25 years ago. And it's still number one in the world. Would you say that um... Now, now there are more opportunities than before? Yes. Look at this thing here. I never had this when I was your age. I mean, I sit here and I make money from all over the world and other people are still going back to school to get their PhD. Stupid. If you, you could be an entrepreneur today and go all over the world. I you, was, can sit at home. you can sit anywhere and do it today. Sure. That's all I'm saying, but it's up here. It's how you see the world. So that's what we teach at Rich Dad. Change the way you think. If you don't want to change the way you think, then go back to school, get your PhD, and then work hard for a paycheck and put stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and ETFs in here. I just don't do that. And I don't save dollars. I don't need to save dollars because I use debt to buy assets. What, what would you say that, the, that are the like, three greatest obstacles that a person should overcome to change their mindset in the way you're, you're, you're describing? Laziness, communism, fascism. If you're poor, it's because you're lazy. That's all. There's enough around today. Look at look at YouTube, man. There's so many great teachers on YouTube. I'm on, I, you know, I, I burned out this battery yesterday. I had to get a new battery in there because I'm on YouTube constantly. There's so many great teachers. The fake teachers are in schools. <laughs> and it's free on YouTube. 
People are poor because they like being poor and they're lazy and they want a paycheck. They want the government to give them money. That's your choice. That's a free country. You know, you can save dollars or you can save Bitcoin. Which would you rather have? A hundred dollars or a hundred Bitcoin? Now, a hundred Bitcoin, yes. You, you, you were talking about green investments. I, I saw that in your radio show. Uh, you were talking about green investments. Could you please talk a little bit about that? Uh, how, how, how that works? Well, it's because, you know, Biden, he says there's two important things. And one is... Uh, Green New Deal. So what they're going to do is they're going to take taxpayer money and they're going to give it to capitalists to invest. So it's, it's no different. Felipe, nothing has changed. I make millions of dollars because the government gives me money to invest in oil. So when the government starts giving people money to invest in the Green New Deal, the socialists won't make any money anyway because they're stupid. That stands for stupid. But they're going to give capitalists like me a lot of money to start projects, much like my oil projects, to bring up Green New Deal. So right now, solar energy is massive. It's just going through the roof. I heard that you're writing a new book with uh, Jim Rickards. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, could you please, can, can, can you talk about, about that or, or you cannot? I don't know if you have a restriction or, or, or whatever. Uh, yeah. I want to know about, about that and, and, and what do you think about Rickards? Because We are very, very close friends from, from, of him. Rickards is one of the smartest guys around right now. So he and I are writing a book called The Ravens. It's how you predict the future. So as, as I'm saying to you right now, it's the Green New Deal, which is going to be Ocasio-Cortez, and they're going to give the money to capitalists, me, and we'll get, we'll get richer. So you just look at what's going on, and that's how you can see the future. So that's called, the book is called The Ravens. And the reason records can call for gold to go to 15,000 an ounce, right today it's about 1,800 US. But he's, he's saying it's going to go to 15,000 because he knows the numbers. I know the numbers. So Bitcoin's doing really well. I mean, I did really, I've done really, really well with Bitcoin. But I'm buying more gold than Plata e Oro because we know what's going to happen. The government, US government's going to print more money. They have to. We're broke. In Latin America, despite that we, or, or given that we have like this big uh, crooks, you know, as you as you put them, <laughs> that 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 gives us big opportunities as well. You guys, you know, if if those that if if my my friends in Argentina, I you know, I've been hunting down there for 20 something years, and I told them to buy plata. They didn't listen. They're broke. They said, you're being too pessimistic. I said, I don't trust your money. I don't trust my money. So I was pessimistic. They're optimistic. They're broke. If they had bought Bitcoin, they'd be rich in Argentina today. Same people, different ideas. So don't say I'm, a, I'm not optimistic. I'm extremely optimistic, but I'm also a realist. Well, thank you, Robert. I just want to know if you have five minutes. I wanted to ask you a favor. Uh, if you can um, invite our readers to, to subscribe to uh, your newsletter. I mean, the, 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 the Spanish version of uh, Rich Dad, Poor Dad letter that we publish in here. Well, I, I would say this, you know, you can, you can not subscribe, but you're not any smarter. So what is this worth to you? So when I say to people, the reason we write, the reason I say what we say and all this is to keep this tuned in. So subscribe to the newsletter and you'll hear a different point of view. Because this is your greatest asset you've got. And you, and you look at this thing here, you can now tune in all over the world. So if you're broke, it's because you're lazy. That's all. This thing here makes it so easy to be rich. You can go on YouTube, you can go anywhere, you can get newsletters, you can feed your brain information. But most people are too lazy. I hate to say that. They want to go back to school, get another college degree, or get a high paying job. Not very smart, lazy. So that's what I have on the newsletter. Subscribe to it. If you don't like it, cancel it. 
But if, you, if you're not learning something, then you're going to say, I'm a pessimist. I'm not a pessimist. I'm very optimistic. I'm just concerned about the rest of the world. I'm worried about all of these people who have a pension. Okay. Uh, well, thank you, Robert. What was, what else can I say? Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.